All right, good afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. We are rolling right through this hurricane season and we have been very fortunate for the Texas Gulf Coast. It has been a super quiet 2025 hurricane season because we haven't been hit by anything tropical thank goodness but I'm still closely tracking the tropics we've still got a little bit more of this season to get through of course hurricane season runs all the way through the end of this month so there's a low chance something could still pop up out there but it is unlikely especially for our area however I do want to give you an overview of what we've been through this season it's been quiet here but other parts of the Atlantic Basin not so much. We started off with Tropical Storm Andrea, and then of course we had Tropical Storm Barry, Chantal, Dexter, our first Category 5 hurricane of the season, of course, was Aaron. That one caused some really rough surf, some big waves to batter a good portion of the East Coast, but it wasn't a direct hit for the U.S., thank goodness. Then we had Tropical Storm Fernand, Category 4, Hurricane Gabrielle, Category 5, Hurricane Umberto, Imelda, which was briefly Category 2. Then we had a trio of tropical storms Jerry Karen Lorenzo and of course most recently we did have Melissa that of course devastated parts of the Central Caribbean of course rolling over Jamaica as a category five strongest in history for Jamaica rolling over eastern Cuba the southeastern Bahamas and then even hitting Bermuda or at least coming close and producing some hurricane force a lot of action going on for this hurricane season. We've had 13 named storms. Out of those, five have become hurricanes, a couple back from our average number of seven hurricanes for an entire season. And we've had four major hurricanes, so we kind of overperformed in that category. We are one above average for our number of major hurricanes and one above the Colorado State University meteorologist prediction from back in July. So we haven't had quite as many named storms and hurricanes as we normally would, but major hurricanes, it has certainly been busy. You can see our Saffir Simpson scale here showing in order to be a category five hurricane, you have to have winds of 157 miles per hour or greater. And we've had that with three of these systems. That hasn't happened in about 20 years. You have to go all the way back to 2005 to see that many category fives in one season. But we do have 24 days left in the 2025 Atlantic Basin hurricane season. No signs of tropical development formation out there at this point. Let's hope we keep it quiet for the rest of the season. However, we still can't just completely close the book, turn the corner, because look at these water temperatures in the Western Atlantic, in the Gulf, in the Western and Central Caribbean, still into the low to middle 80s for most spots. Now notice the Northern Gulf temperatures have cooled back into the 70s. We've had some fronts to move through, kind of cooling that water, but the majority of the Gulf still warm enough to fuel tropical development and definitely parts of the Caribbean. So. We still have to keep a close eye on things. We're still, of course, monitoring the Central American Gyre. This is that setup where we can occasionally get some circulation, some weak areas of low pressure that develop from that that could turn into tropical systems. Right now, over Central America, Mexico, we've got some showers and storms kind of offshore. They're very disorganized in the Eastern Pacific, in the Western Caribbean, but nothing that looks impressive like it would blow up to become our next tropical storm. The next name on the list would be Nestor, but I don't think we're going to get Nestor anytime soon. Thank goodness. As we go into the future with our GFS Futurecast, notice the Gulf is fairly quiet, just a few showers. We've got some disorganized showers and storms around the Eastern Pacific, Western Caribbean, but notice in our neck of the woods, we are very quiet, so nothing to worry about. So the National Hurricane Center going with no tropical development expected over the next seven days, and let's keep that streak going all the way through the rest of this month, and then that will be it. We still have a very low chance historically for development for November for the Western Atlantic, Western Caribbean, but right now, no signs of anything messing with this at this point. So it's quiet out there. And like I said, let's just get through the next few weeks and call it a wrap for this season without any more tropical activity.